I fuck with Shawty cause she bout her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionista, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, guys, we're going to be making a satin ruche midi skirt. These are the materials that you will need. If you're interested in seeing how I make this skirt, just keep on watching. So I'm using this mini skirt that I love, and I like the way that it fits my waist and my hips. So that's what I'm going to be using as a template. And here I'm just marking the length that I want my skirt to be. This is totally up to you. You know, this is personal preference. Um, I'm using the Taylor's chalk right now, so you can't really see it on this fabric. However, I'm going to remark my lines with a darker marker so you can see them. So fret not, you will be able to see the line a little better. Then I'm just measuring how far from the top of this skirt, this particular skirt, that I want to go up. And that's personal preference as well. This is just all about the length of your skirt and how you want it to fit you. So when tracing a skirt and using it as a template, you wanna make sure you always trace where you're leaving seam allowance. Like I'm not tracing right up against this skirt. I'm actually leaving a little space for seam allowance. So you wanna make sure you do that. If you don't, the skirt will be too small for you. So like I said earlier, I know you guys couldn't see those lines I, were, I was making. So I'm going in with a black Sharpie just to darken these lines so that you can see them on this fabric. It's kind of light, so I know that's hard. So you'll just see me connecting all the tracing lines right now. So I wanted the bottom of this skirt to flare a little, so I made sure to make the bottom wider, especially wider than the top. And then I just connected the lines to get the shape that I wanted to get. Now my tracing is not perfect as you can see, but that's okay because the skirt still came out very well, exactly how I wanted. So if you're just starting out or beginner sore, this is a perfect way to learn how to shape skirts you know use the old skirt you have try tracing it and you'll just learn over time how to get different shaped skirts how to do different things with skirts once i'm done tracing this is the template that i have so now we're gonna go in with pins and just pin all around. And then after I've pinned both sides, I'm going to cut everything out. The next step is to go to your sewing machine and sew the sides down. 
since this isn't a stretch fabric you only need to use a straight stitch and we're going straight down the side you also can use a zigzag stitch if you want to overlock it that's fine but I just use a straight stitch on the sides be sure to always end and begin with the back stitch and check your tension and stitch length for your specific fabric So now I'm going to install the zipper and I'm going to be honest with you, I, I am not good with zippers. I just do what I think is right. I've watched so many tutorials. I've had one-on-one -on -one tutorials and I just cannot get zippers, but I do my best. So as you can see, I'm marking the length of the zipper and then I'm going to cut a line down the back piece of the fabric. And I'm going to show you as best as I can how to lay this zipper and how to sew it. Just follow along, but I do suggest if you want to install a zipper to watch a different tutorial. Okay, let me try my best to explain. I'm pinning the right side of the zipper to the right side of the fabric. We're gonna sew that and then we're gonna flip it and top stitch it. I hope that makes sense. Just keep watching. So once again, I'm going to sew right where it's pinned up against the zipper. You don't want to hit the zipper. And then I'm going to flip this over and top stitch it right on top so it can be close to the zipper. But again, do not hit the zipper. You don't want to break your needle. You also have to change to a zipper foot on your machine and switch a couple settings on here as well. So once I get better at this, I'll definitely bring you guys a detailed tutorial on how to install a zipper. But for now, yeah, we're just going to watch, okay? <laughs> Okay, so for my waistline on this skirt, I didn't want a stitched waistline and I didn't want elastic or anything. So I just pinned a few spots. And the first two spots, of course, are where the zippers are and on the two side seams. I pinned those spots. And I'm just gonna sew a quick stitch right down the end. You know, nothing too crazy. I'm just gonna sew in each spot just to lock that waistline in but I definitely did not want a stitch line on this waistline. I wanted it to be flat. Okay, now for the fun part, we're going to be adding in our extra piece of fabric to add the ruching effect on this skirt. Now, there are a few different ways that you can ruche. And I will be doing videos later to show you guys the few different ways that you can ruche, but we're gonna start with the most simple way right now, okay? So I'm just measuring out how long I want that ruching um, casing to be. I'm going to cut a split into the skirt right up into the point where I measure it. And this is also a personal preference. The ruche casing can be as long as you want or as short as you want. It's all about what look you're going for. So I'm just gonna cut all the way up into the point where I measure it.
Now I want to create that actual casing for the inside and I want to make sure that it's the same length as I measured for the um, for the slit. So I just want to make sure that it's long enough up into where the skirt slits and then I'm going to cut the extra excess fabric off. So next you're going to flip your skirt inside out and we're going to pin that strip of fabric right onto the skirt. So for this you will be sewing three lines, one on each side, so one on this side, one on this side, and one straight stitch in the middle as well. This is going to create the casing for your string so that you'll be able to ruche. We're also going to hem this split area, so we're just going to fold it over and do a straight stitch to hem that so it's not just raggedy on the outside. The last step is to create a string for your skirt. I do have a more detailed video on this, so I will link it above so you can watch that one. But I didn't wanna waste too much time going into detail about a string. But if you need to see that, click the link above. All right, all right, this is our finished product. We have a gold midi roof skirt and I love it. It goes perfect with the top that I showed you guys in my last weekly vlog. I hope that you guys learned something in this video. I hope that it was good. I hope you liked it. If so, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. That's all I have for you. So may your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here.